Somebody's nicked everything. Ah. Only kidding. Hey everybody, what's new with you? I thought it was about time for a bus update. It's been a couple of days since I've brought it home and I want to show you around. Now, I really loved the layout of the way everything was, but everything was just old and shabby. However, we have a whole new plan. We have a whole new layout and I'm super excited for it. But it started with um, having to strip everything out. That was kind of like the number one thing. So if you remember what it was like. Now we're looking a bit like this. Super cool, right? We've, we've gained like a whole ton of space. Oh, that is huge now. My favorite unleashing is this little bit here uh, used to be a wall. I don't know if I have any videos of what it used to be like with a sofa. Sofa used to be here. It was like an L-shaped thing, very much in the way. You had to like climb across here to like get into the front of the bus. But I've, I've taken this wall out. It's gone forever. And this wall. So you can see right through it now, which is kind of really cool. But a big change is that we're going to try and get that lift out. But I really like these handrails. What do you guys think? Like, I like the fact that it's like an old feature of the bus. It's something I really love about it. Hold on, it's really dark. Here we go. It's a really old feature and I really like that. I don't know what you guys think about keeping stuff like that, but I don't quite know how we're going to be able to keep them because they're attached to that huge steel frame. I'll, I'll see if I can find a way. The reason we're taking the lift out is to save so much weight with all of that. I don't know how heavy the thing weighs, but if I can get even like an extra m half a mile to the gallon or a mile to the gallon out of this thing, just purely on that weight alone. I mean, it's solid metal, huge heavy thing. But the thing I really love about those handles is purely the fact that I can, I can run out the bus, I can jump out, I can jump in, and I like to get in and out of places quickly. It's just the energy that I have, so. I think it's a feature worth keeping. I just think it's nice. And I like the fact that we have, like, we have a couple of shelves from when it was used to be a library as well. And these lovely things, I mean, I know they're bright orange at the moment, but these are the racks that all the books used to go in when it was a library. So the idea is we're gonna use these shelves, these shelf rack things to create the desk. I don't know if you guys remember the sofa was here. There were cupboards up here, which are now stuck there. There were big cupboards face that way and that's where the TV was. Didn't like the use of that space. So these, we're gonna, I'm gonna try and make like a system that makes this into a reshapeable desk. So I can have things at any height. I can have my keyboard here. If I wanted two keyboards, I can have stick in another, just stick in another shelf. So it looked like this. This is what they used to be like. They used, to, they used to sit like that, and they sit at a slant so that the books stay where they are. What I really like is this, this little end bit. And I think if I can utilize these and buy more of these kind of things, and create big versions that don't tilt in that way and I make them just flat, then I think I could like 
so to speak, like build my own shelves, build my own desk. And then when I'm not using it as a desk and I want more space, say I'm having like a small party in here or some like people in here, I can open up the space and have all this little space. Dining table could slot in. Two chairs either side, I've got myself like an actual table. That's the new idea with this. Also, they're not gonna be orange, don't worry. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna bring them out because they need to be obviously in front of this, not level with. Uh, I'm gonna paint them like a nice, nice dark gray or something like that. Also a big change is gonna be this. The sofa's now gonna be here. So this is where the TV was hanging. Nice big sofa. Hopefully you could sit like three people. TV is gonna be above the desk. And that's also like, I'm gonna make sure the computer can like fold up and stick away somewhere so that the, the screen becomes the computer. And that means everyone that's sat around here can see what's going on with the writing and the recording. And, and you know, even like film nights and stuff like that, everyone should be able to see what's going on. So that would be really, really cool. And also key feature, the sofa, I haven't bought it yet, or maybe I'm gonna have to make it, I'm not sure yet. Depends on my look. One of these sofas that the bottom comes out and the back comes down, and then that becomes the bed. But this just made more sense to me to have it this way, and it also means you can sit at the desk and have the door open, and you can see what's going on. You've got windows this side, it's just a bit more pleasant to sit, and you don't feel like you're cramped into a room just looking at like a blank wall. Another major change you'll notice is the ceiling. So the ceiling's gone. This stuff reminds me of like 70s disco. Really bad, it's going, it's all going, it's all been stripped out, well it has been stripped out. Um, there's loads of little holes and cracks and all sorts of nasties, so put some insulation up there. Um, I'm gonna need that I think in the winter months, but I'm also really scared about air conditioning because it's gonna be so hot in here. But then in winter I'm gonna, like I'd rather it be warm than cold. Keeping the heat in is more important than keeping the heat out, personally. So, insulation, it's gonna be quite a cost, I think, but it's essential. I'll appreciate it in the end. But what we have noticed is that how nice and bright this is. Like, it makes the space feel so much better in here. So, definitely gonna have a white ceiling. Also, we've had the idea of having up lighting. So, like a little cove, so around the edges, like a little drop down cove with lights that go up um, and create this illusion that there's like no ceiling or there's just like a bright ceiling so you won't see the lights you'll just see sort of like where it's all reflected with leds and whatnot is there anything else the, the general cockpit area this is all going to be redone it's this horrible like remember that kind of material yeah that stuff's going to be replaced all over the cockpit we've got some like nice ideas for some for some See, this is another cost. I've got to cover up all this like horrible. Let me get really close so you can see what this is like. Horrible. It's like it's like what you get in an aeroplane. Horrible. Bad. Very bad. It's another layer of insulation, so it's gonna layer it, which is gonna get some nice sheets to cover it. I want this to look like really modern. I think my colour schemes are gonna be like grey for like fabrics and materials of the sofa and just white. Everything white. Or just an ever so slight off-white. And and use lighting more. And then like to bring some colour and have some like coloured cushions and even like the driver's chairs, they're all gonna be reupholstered. I don't know what in yet, I'm thinking like a grey again, a nice grey hides the dirt. But yeah, I'm gonna get my feminine side out later on in the project, but for now, um, I've got to make sure all the cabling's in place. Like, I've gotta put some sockets over this side, remove sockets from this side. So that's the next plan, is working all that out, getting the lift out. I'm ordering solar panels literally later on today, I think. Big investment, making sure all the cabling's in for that. And then once all that's done, that's when we begin the pretty stuff. So yeah guys, I hope you've enjoyed the update. Um, really quick, real simple, I thought I'd show you all the hard work. This is like solid day two. Uh, what time are we now? So it's 20 to four, so I've done pretty, pretty, I'm pretty proud of myself for everything that I've got out of here. I hope you're proud of the project as well. It's, it's coming on, it's exciting. And I'll update you when this lifts out and, and when all those little snaggy jobs are done. Once the lift's out, that's the big one. Oh yeah! I forgot to tell you. So the space down here on the floor, when this lifts out, we need to find a way to have a temporary cover on it. We're gonna put new steps in, like flap up, so you can put like shoes in there, things like that. Um, and then we were thinking maybe like a pull out system from here, like, and then when this flaps out, that means we've got even more floor space. So although I like the idea of having a pole here, I think it's a nice little feature. I think it looks nice. The reality of it is that it kind of makes this space a little bit pointless, if that's there. We shall see when the lift is out. I might just like the space. 
So cheers for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And um, I hope you're back. I hope you're all well. And um, I will see you in the next vlog. And remember, never stop creating. Especially if you're mad enough to buy a boss. See ya.